और गैस सो वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन इफ यू आर समन यू टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज निखलेश एंड आई लिव हियर इन बर्लिन आई एम प्रज्यूमिंग दैट सिंस यू हैव क्लिक ऑन दिस वीडियो यू आर समन हु इज करंटली प्रोसूइंग बैचलर्स इन कंप्यूटर साइंस और बी सी ए एंड यू विश टू डू मास्टर्स इन कंप्यूटर साइंस यू कुड ऑल्सो बी समन हु हैज ग्रेजुएटेड एंड नाउ यू बिन वर्किंग इन द इंडस्ट्री फॉर क्वाइट अ वाइल नाउ अगेन दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू वॉट यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट आउट ऑफ दिस वीडियो मेनली इज I will be sharing a list of the universities for computer science and topics related to computer science. So one of the key takeaways for you should be that there is a list which I will be sharing right here in this video. If you want to jump directly onto that part, click right here. So basically this list was very recently shared to me by one of the students who is currently studying in uh, Hochschule Heilbronn. and he came last intake itself so this list is going to be very fresh also one last point the student who has given me this list his profile was not the best in terms of grades what he got i think it was something around 70 72 75 something so that is a profile of the student uh, what i'm talking about and uh, if you're someone with a score of anything about 68 and uh, all the way till 75 um these are the colleges where you should definitely apply so before we begin there is a google form in the description of this video you can jump onto that and fill in your details we'll stay in touch we'll see what best we can do for you when it comes to helping you with the admission or the visa support whether it's this year 2022 or for next year 2023 i can assure you one thing after this video you don't have to look around 10 different websites looking for a list of colleges documents required all of that small little details i've collected and put it in one presentation uh, fill out the google form i'll send across this presentation entirely to you and uh, in fact i'll i'll try to see if i can put this entire presentation in the description as well and of course the list of colleges which i'll be presenting here so yeah if any of you guys are interested to send me an email and have an email email communication uh nd@nikshala.com is my email id directly this has i'm i'm the one who accesses this email id if some of you are interested to have this presentation i'll uh, give it in the description or i'll send it uh, over to you via email once you have filled out a google form if you're interested to talk to me personally and talk about your profile people also you know very often book personal appointment with me so you can click it right here and it will take you directly onto that a uh, website where you can book the appointment i've been doing this long enough now for little over 4 or 5 years now and i've seen thousands of students and and i'm happy to tell you that i've been part of their success story and exactly by doing that mentorship was actually born uh, i learned a lot on the ground here that what are the do's and don'ts and uh, that's how i've designed my 12 months of program you can easily become part of it by enrolling it by clicking on the link on the screen or in the description i'm going to drop a link there this mentorship basically starts helping you while you're in india and it only stops here in germany when you're on a part time job so that's how the whole chapters are designed some of the highlights are already mentioned on the screen right here but then this is just like the tip of the iceberg it goes really really deep so to begin with if you're someone who is currently studying let's say in x university okay and you want to know whether your university or the course what you are studying in that university in your bachelor's is that recognized or not as per german database which is called as anabin basically in a nutshell anabin's job is to is to see the equivalence of your bachelor's what you studied bachelor's in mechanical in india let's say for example to bachelor's here in germany in mechanical and what you have to see is your university has something called as h plus so i'll quickly show you how you can check your university whether it's approved by anabin or not just go on google and type anabin.de when you're here go to the first link right here and go to institution okay go to search let me just switch this for you in english Oh my selection I think it's there from previously so it's selected India in your case you have to open country selection and just press i and it will show India or a list of countries with i confirm place where in India let's say I want to check Mumbai I'm going to go and type m and then say uh Mumbai Maharashtra so this is where you will see amity university mumbai 
uh, it's a private university and it's H plus. That means it's approved. And likewise, you have to go and look for your university. You can change the city name to something else, wherever you come from, you know. And then uh, let's say Mangalore, you can see it right here. Okay. So for example, this university, it's H minus. Now that this university is H minus, this whoever is studying in this university will have to go through an extra process of validating their degree and a university from Anabin. And there's a altogether different process, which I don't want to get into right now. But yes, make sure that your university is H plus. List of documents, what you need to apply in a university, which is uh, right here, nine things uh, primarily. Bachelor's degree, transcripts for all eight semesters, consolidated mark sheets, or if you're someone who is currently in eighth semester, then provisional degree. You need SOP. Let's say you're applying for 10 different universities, then you need 10 different SOPs uh, designed. You need three, at least three uh, letter of recommendations. IELTS 6.5 overall, and you need to give academic IELTS, not general IELTS. There are two types, that's why. Work experience letter, if you have any internship or ECA stands for extracurricular activity. Uh, if you have published some academic papers, uh, CV in Europass format, a uh, course module book. Course module book is uh, basically your entire mechanical engineering, uh, you know, in a PDF format. What was the course content, what you were taught, which you can get it from your administration. So these are the nine documents which are the basis of application. So there are two intakes in Germany. One is in summer, one is in winter. Summer starts in April. The deadline is 15th of Jan. Normally the application actually begins in by November, December mm -hmm. onwards. For winter, it starts in October. The deadline is May uh, 15th. Sometimes the deadlines can also go till June 15th. So in Germany, uh, the application is done via three ways, via university portal, mm -hmm. via my assist or combination of first and second. Now, how do you know that which way a university is willing to take your application? Well, you'll have to check on the course website what the breakdown of German GPA is. So one is the highest you can score here in this country. Four is bare minimum, like just pass. Anything beyond four is fail. Now, many of you would already have your grades into either CGPA or SGPA or percentage. How can you calculate that from that grading system to German GPA? I have I have this link right here, uh, which I'm going to click now, and it will take us directly onto the website of Technical University Munich. We're going to convert the grades. Let's say the highest what uh, highest CGPA one can get is ten. Uh, the bare minimum required to pass the degree is five. And you got, let's say, 7.2. That's your German GPA right here. You know, 2.6 is something what you have got. If yours would be, let's say, 8, then it's 2.2. So this is how you calculate grades. So this is where I'm going to start talking to you about the list of colleges. If you have this presentation with you, what you have to do simply is just go here. I have embedded a link here. You press that, it will take you directly to the Excel sheet. So I'm presenting you a total of 50 universities on the screen right now. Uh, this first sheet has 1 to 30 roughly. And then there is a sheet number 2, which is right here. And there are more 25 universities with 25 different courses here. Uh, it's a mix of uh, computer science, software engineering, data science, all of that. Uh, all together. So if you see the formatting of the list of this college, uh, serial number, university name is there, uh, link for the course, what is the course name exactly, how much minimum grades are required, uh, application is going via direct university or onto the university portal, what is their deadline, admission is whether that is restricted, non-restricted. So make sure that you read the extra comments written on the extreme corner here because these are additional information which will help you if you follow this exact list for your own self yeah going back to the first sheet uh, this friend of mine he got admission in four different universities and that's what it's written right here in this uh, row he got admission in uh, msc web and data science uh, which is which is in the university of koblenz university of fulda 
uh, he got selected in TU Darmstadt and then Heilbronn University, as I said. So he's currently studying in Heilbronn Applied Sciences Universities. Many students I've seen over the past so many years, they come and ask me, hey, what specializations uh, you think will be good for me? Well, that is something which you have to answer for yourself. But specializations, what I have seen people going ahead and doing in computer science are as follows on the screen. Uh, people are doing in uh, artificial intelligence, computer human interface, game design, network, computer graphics, information security, data science. All of these are the areas where people have done their specializations and now they are working in the same field. In fact, some of uh, the people I know of, they did specialization into this. In fact, they ended up making their thesis topic itself around this specialization and they have got a full-time job offer as well from a company who's interested in the same topics like them. So these are some of the hot topics I have seen in the computer science space. There may be more to this, pretty short, but this is my homework, what I've done. And people I know of, they are very successful doing this topics, uh, what you see on the screen. We are on the last slide. If you want to get enrolled for the program, you can just click right here. Uh, as I said, you can have this PDF for yourself and uh, yeah, get in touch with us. We'll be happy to help you out. So yeah, if you have made it till here, thank you so much for tuning in. Now that you have the list of colleges and all the required documents, go ahead and apply whether or not you want our help, but make sure that you're tight on your timeline uh, because that's where a lot of people make mistakes. So having said that, thank you so much. And uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.